Both teams are coming back out on the field. Hoekman apparently has the football. So he'll get one more play. Probably some kind of a deep pass with only one second left. What the heck he got to lose? And now the official has mass confusion down on the field, folks. Uh, well, they spotted the ball, started the clock, it moved one second, and now the half is over. Well, anyway, they, they sorted it out, I guess. That is the end of the first half. I didn't think there'd be another play. The score is 16-7 to 7 at halftime in favor of Kennewick. And uh, we'll be back with some activities there at halftime. Right now, let's pause 60 seconds with the score. Kennewick 16, Hope Wim 7. How do you 46. Hopping deep to receive the kick from Bloomberg. Well, 24 minutes of football left. We'll see if the Grizzlies can come back or if the Lions can hold on to their nine-point lead. Lovell and Bo standing at about the 10-yard line as Bloomberg gets set to kick it off and start the second half. getting everybody set and I think they're about ready to signal for the second half kickoff. I think they're waiting for the band to be quiet is what they're waiting for. The band's still wrapping up their show is in the stands now and now they signal for the start of the second half. Rumor is approaching the ball at the 40. Good deep kick ball. The rider level takes it at the 10, fumbles it, picks it up at the 15, to the 20, 25, 30, and finally dragged down by the kicker, Bloomberg, at about the 40. Fine run back by Cal Lovell again, almost to the 40-yard line. 11.52, as we are just underway here in this second half, as Kennewick takes the ball, first down at their 40. Scott Conley, of course, still the quarterback. Cortez, who caught one pass to 36 yards in the first half, puts up wide to the left. And now they have a slot left. I think that's Cal Lovell in the slot left. Finally, handoff set at the middle of Bailey, and he's got running room to about the 45 before he's brought down. Tim Bates, number 63. The uh, 5'10 junior there to make the stop for Hope Wim. Gain of five on the first play of the second half for Tracy Bailey and the, Ken and the Kennewick Lions. Conley does have Lovell lined up in the slot left. Cortez split wide left. Conley, handoff up the middle to Whitmire. A bad exchange again between Conley and Whitmire. Terry Melton, number 66, there to make the stop for Hopi. Also number 42, Mitch Reek. And also Joe Chapin there. Gain of a couple. Bring up third down and three. Bad exchange on that one between Conley and Whitmire. Again, they're lucky they didn't fumble the ball. Whitmire picked up a couple. Third and three from the Kennewick 47. Now Lovell lines, lines up wide right. And Cortez to the left. Conley on the option. Across the midfield. Across the 45. Breaks. The tackle struggles to about the 40 before he's finally dragged down by Mark Ravy, number 12, and also Jay Zebular, number 31. Dare to bring him down. And Larry McElliott, number 81. Good run by Scott Conley, the quarterback. Good, strong runner. He crossed the 50 yard line, cut back on the option, and then dragged Mark Ravy and Larry McElliott for quite a distance. Ball marked at the 40 yard line of Oakwood. Handoff, straight up the middle, and there's nothing there this time. Terry Melton, Alan Parker, both there. Second down and about, I well, will still call it 10 yards. He really didn't gain anything on the play. Now some new backs coming into the game for the uh, Kennewick Lions, number 24 in the lineup, Troy McCord. Also, well, Bailey, J.C. Bailey, the other back, still in there. Handoff up the middle to Bailey. 
And he gets maybe two or four on the play. Alan Parker, Joe Chapin there, the interior of the Hopium line. Nine and a half to go third quarter. Gain of three. Third down about six. Ball at the Hopium 36. Troy McCord, J.C. Bailey now behind Scott Conley as Whitmire's out of the line for the first time tonight. Level slip wide to the right, Cortez to the left. Conley drops straight back, rolls out to his right, under pressure, hits Lovell at about the 27-yard line. Raby was there for the coverage for Hopium, but he was giving Lovell a lot of room with that speed that he has, and they just threw underneath, threw in front of Raby, and it was a good completion by Conley. He picked up about 10. Whitmire is back in the lineup for Kenwick after a break of a couple of plays. So Whitmire and Bailey behind Conley. Lovell split wide to the right. Cortez to the left. First and 10 on the Hope Wim 27. Hand off straight up the middle of Whitmire. Good defensive play by Hope Wim. Joe Chapin was there. Also Alan Parker and Terry Melton. A gain of maybe two to the 25. Second down and eight. Whitmire picked up two on the play. Eight and a half to go through quarter and Kennewick on the move in their first possession of the second half. Cortez now wide to the right and level left side, split left. Whitmire and Bailey split back behind Conley. The pitch left it to Whitmire and a good play by Jay Zebular as he made it through the block. Of number 81, the tight end, David DeWitt. Zebular fighting through the block beautifully and able to get Whitmire for a loss. That was an excellent play. Third down about 12. They marked it at about the 30. That was a loss of about five yards. Cortez lines up to the left and number 46 level comes split wide right again. Split back behind Conley are still with Myron Bailey. Third and 13. We'll see what Conley comes up with here. The pitch is to Whitmire. He's going to throw the ball. Lovell's deep. He's got a step on his man. That pass is away from him. Incomplete. Lovell got behind Raby, but the pass was away from Kyle Lovell. Whitmire on the half-back option threw the ball at about the 40-yard line, and the ball was away, quite a ways away from Kyle Lovell, and he was unable to get to it. Brings up fourth down and 13. And now some confusion for Kennewick as to who they want in the lineup. We'll see what they do here. If they punt, they will. Tim Utek will do the kicking. He's standing at about the hope we have 40. So if he gets away a good punt, the Grizzlies could be deep in their own territory. Good high kick, and it's going to find a corner, I think. That depends on where it went out of bounds. Now they're marking at about the 16, 17-yard line. That's where Hope will take over first and 10. So the Grizzlies bend a little bit, don't break on that drive. Kind of wake, able to move the ball rather well from their own 40 to about the Hope 25 at one point. A big play by uh, Jay Zebular helped slow down the drive. And then a long third down pass from Jeff Whitmire to Cal Lovell fell incomplete. And Hope has the ball first down on their 16-yard line. Charlie, the quarterback. He keeps the ball on the option, and he's hit immediately by number 62, I think, or 67, one or the other. There's number 67, Mike Neal. Mike Meese, rather, who made the tackle. Gain of a yard on the play for Charlie. Second down and nine. Approaching the seven-minute mark in the third quarter. Bloomberg and Raby now, along with Reek behind Tandy Charlie. Bund is split wide to the left. Hand off is to Bloomberg straight at the middle, and he's near the 20-yard line before he's driven back by Tim Utek, number 52. Line nose guard for the Kennewick Lions. Utek has been in a lot of tackles tonight, as does linebacker Joey Christensen. Third down, about six. Ball at the 20-yard line, just over the 20 for Hoquiam. They try to move from deep in their own territory, trailing 16 to 7 in the third quarter. Charlie 
Bradley now has broken the wishbone. He's got Bloomberg lined up as a flanker right. Lund left. Charlie on the draw play, and there's a fumble, and we'll see who came up with this one. 67, Mike Meads hit, hit the uh, ball carrier immediately after Charlie handed off to him as the, as the draw play, but didn't really fool anybody. Griffiths do recover the football, though, so that is one good thing. Charlie fell on it himself, so that will be a punting situation now for Hope Wynn. 5.44 left third quarter, and Hope will have to punt from deep in their own territory. Mike Bloomberg handling the punting chores tonight for Hope Wynn. Cal Lovell, Mike Bowe, two dangerous return men drop deep for Kennewick at about midfield. Bloomberg with a good kick. Taken at about the 48-yard line of Hopium by Lovell. He's going down the right sideline to the 35. Now trying to get away at the 30, and we have a flag flying as he's brought down at the 33. Two flags fly. We may have a clip. Number 89, I think uh, Steve Andrews may have been called for the clip, and he was. He tried to throw a block and spring Lovell for a little more yardage. That will back up the Kennewick Lions a little bit. Five sixteen left third quarter. The ball is right now marked at the 33, so now they're going to mark it off in the spot of the foul, which is the 37, so that should push them back to about their own 48. Kennewick Lions, first down, own 48-yard line. They lead in the ball game, 16 to seven. Conley brings up the Lions. He has Cortez wide to the right and spins to the left. Cal Lovell not in, not in the ball game right now for Kennewick. And off straight up the middle of J.C. Bailey and he picks up a couple to about midfield, maybe a little across the midfield strike. Melton was there again for Hope William, Alan Parker. Second down at about seven. They give him three in the play with a Hope in 49. Spence comes wide left and Cortez to the right on second and seven in the Hope 49. Bailey and Whitmire the running back behind Conley. Conley on the option. He's across the 45 to the 40 and driven out of bounds at about the 38 by Larry McElliott. Fine run by Scott Conley. He's getting outside on the option play, and he's a big quarterback and a pretty fast one. And that's good enough for a first down. It's about a 10-yard pickup to the 39 of Oak Wim. First down for Kennewick. They've dominated this third quarter. Hopkins had the ball only once, briefly, for three plays, and they had to punt it away, and Kennewick has been able to hold on to the ball all the rest of this quarter. We're down to 429 left, third quarter. Ball control is what you want when you have a nine-point lead, of course. And off says the middle of Whitmire. He breaks to the right side. He's got an opening that's finally dragged down from behind by Alan Parker, number 67, but that's enough. Mark. Put on a 25-yard touchdown run in the first half. Second and three from the Hoquiam 14. Hand off to Bailey, and Parker is again there to meet him, but I think they may have gotten enough for the first down. Starts at the Hoquiam 11. Three-yard gain and a first down for J.C. Bailey. First and ten now for Kennewitz from the Hoquiam 11 with 3.11 left. Third quarter. Bailey and Whitmire, a couple of workhorse backs in the handoff. No, it's a fake to Bailey. Pass by Conley in the end zone. Intercepted and dropped by Mark Raby. Oh, Raby had that ball and just couldn't hang on. He was bobbling it and then finally was hit by David DeWitt of Kennewick and the ball jarred loose. Close to an interception there. Raby had good coverage on his man. Second and 10 from the Hope Wim 11. It's again Scott Conley, the quarterback, brings up the Lions with Whitmire and Bailey behind him. 2.54 left, third quarter. Conley, fake to Bailey, on the option, tries to cut back, and he gets away from one man, but it's finally dragged down by Mike Harp, number 53.